welcome back to another vlog. Um, started my day with a nice bath, as you saw. Haven't had one for a couple of days. I have washed, but I've been having showers. And I thought I would treat myself to a little bath this morning. And now I'm ready for the day. Not that there's going to be a whole lot going on today, but you know, it's nice to get ready every once in a while. <laughs> I've even done uh, a more classic liner look for me today. And I'm, I'm enjoying it for a bit of a change. I haven't worn just like proper liner, unblurred, unblended for a little while. Um, I did do a tutorial or a get ready with me um, on my more blurred liner not too long ago. So if you missed that, I will leave a link to it down below. But anyway, I'm here today in another rather uninspiring late pregnancy outfit to get excited with you about fashion again with the lovely Farfetch. So thank you Farfetch for sponsoring this part of the video. You all have heard me speak about them before. They're a website and an app that collates luxury and designer brands um, in a kind of unique way. And I've spoken before about how their website has stock from boutiques all around the world on it, how they feature lots of pre-owned items as well. And they also highlight ethical and sustainable brands for you using the positively conscious tag, which I love. So there's all sorts of things which set Farfetch apart and I am so pleased to be working with them again. Something new actually, they've just launched something called Farfetch Fix, which is powered by The Restory and they will restore your favourite shoes, bags and leather goods and you can book that through the Farfetch website. I am trying to be more conscious and fix more things rather than just having them switched out. Particularly shoes, I think, because shoes get so much wear and also your favourite bags. You know, I want my most beloved shoes to last forever. So yes, I think that's a great initiative. But anyway, my loves, I also have a code for you to get you 10% off your Farfetch order. Future me just popping in here, my loves, because I actually got the code wrong and I want to make sure you get the right code, obviously. But the code is sunbeams10yt. I'll write it on the screen. It'll be in the description box as well. That is valid for 30 days from today um, and I will leave all the other T's and C's down below for you. But without further ado, let's get into this month's items. I'm very, very excited. Again, I've not opened them yet, so we're seeing them for the first time together. So the first item comes in this rather gorgeous box. You may be able to guess what it is already. This may be the softest sunglasses case I have ever touched in my life. Um, the luxury is real. We all know I'm a winter sunglasses wearer, but I was getting very excited about the prospect of a potentially slightly more positive summer this year. And there's nothing quite like a new pair of sunglasses to make you feel good. So here they are, my loves. This gorgeous pair of cat eye frames from Bottega Veneta in a dark tortoiseshell colour. Now it can be a bit of a risk <laughs> buying sunglasses online, especially I've got quite a small face, so a lot look too big on me, but I do love a cat eye shape. It tends to be a fail safe for me, and these are amazing. Oh my goodness, I am so in love with these. Um, you probably have noticed that I wear my black Lispex Lolita sunglasses all the time. They are cat eye as well, slightly smaller than these, but um, I thought it might be nice to have like a tortoiseshell brownie sort of version, but I still wanted to keep them super wearable. So I think the dark tortoiseshell is a really nice <laughs> compromise there. Um, I'm obsessed with these. Also they're nice and tight on my little tiny pea head, <laughs> which is good. Well, these are a huge success. They're also really nice and dark. I love me a good pair of dark sunglasses because a lot of sunglasses do not do such a fantastic job of actually keeping the sun out of your eyes. <laughs> but these will be great. So I'm a huge fan of those. Love, love, love. So next item I'm very excited about also. It is this gorgeous Regina Pio um, blazer. I'm reluctant to open it because it's so be beautifully folded, but it was obviously International Women's Day recently. I wanted to celebrate with some female designers and I believe Regina Pio is actually London based, which is nice as well. Um, I love a local designer, but how gorgeous is this? I've been seeing her blazers 
dotted about the place for quite some time and have been tempted for quite some time and I thought now was the moment to go for it. Um, this is in a gorgeous sort of um, faded red shade and I've just loved the shape of them, they're super boxy. I will try this one on and let you know how it looks but look at these buttons, how cute are these? I just love little touches like that as well. Quite an unusual colour, but I also feel like one you could wear a lot. So this is what the blazer looks like, my loves. I am in love. It's such a nice shape. Obviously, I'm wearing it over a bump right now. Can't wait to wear it without a bump as well. It has that beautiful boxy shape, like I said. Again, I will leave links down below to everything so that you can see what it looks like on a non-pregnant person. Loving this, loving the colour, loving the shape of it. I feel like if I do that, you can kind of see a little bit better what the shape will look like. I think I will definitely get a lot of wear out of this over some time. I didn't mention the material, did I? It's kind of like a linen-y um, material, so it will work really nicely for the summer. Um, just chuck it on over t-shirts and jeans, dresses as well. Huge, huge fan of this one. So excited to wear it. Final piece. I am very excited about this one. Is this? gorgeous Stella McCartney Falabella tote. And it's very nice spring summery crochet. Um, I am obsessed with this. I have had my eye on Stella McCartney's Falabella totes for a long time and then I saw this crochet one and I was head over heels and thought it is time. <laughs> I also really like the size of this. I know I'm about to become a mum, so this is probably about to change completely, but I do like a small to medium handbag myself. Oh my goodness, it feels so, so nice as well. Gorgeously made, got this really nice gunmetal chain, and Stella McCartney has always made an effort to be, as Farfetch would call it, positively conscious um, and ethical in their choices. It's got a nice little pocket there, I think that's my dust bag there. Got a nice little pocket there for finding things a little bit easier, which I love, but I am obsessed with this. And yes, that is all the pieces. I'm very excited to wear them out and about in the spring and summer when things are less gloomy. Um, but don't forget about my code. And again, just replacing this with the correct code, which is sunbeams10yt. And that is everything, my love. So I'm gonna go over now to the main house and have some lunch. I'm very excited about it, don't know what we're going to have yet, but I am hungry. Hi my loves, so you'll possibly not be shocked to see me back in bed. <laughs> Just had a rather lovely lunch, got up a bit earlier than usual today, before 8. I know, I know. And I was doing fine for an hour or two, and then suddenly I was hit by a wave of exhaustion, I think because we went to bed at normal times, so didn't get as much sleep. And as I've been saying a million times, my quality of sleep is not fantastic these days. So I'm going to have a nap. <laughs> I'm also trying, and I know this sounds a bit ridiculous, but trying to find time for naps in the day, day to day. Because I want to just make sure I'm getting enough sleep before, you know, the whole giving birth postpartum thing. Uh, I can't imagine that it would be good to go into that sleep deprived. So I'm just trying to get a bit more sleep and make sure I don't burn out because I am trying to keep working until fairly late in my pregnancy. Obviously some people work right up until birth. Everyone's got different things going on. Um, I don't want to burn out so I do want to find time to rest so that I can also keep doing things and being productive in the next few weeks. So that is my, lo <laughs> my logic for why I'm going to have a nap right now. And I'm very excited about it <laughs> because I've been thinking about it since like 10 a.m. this morning. And then today, Zach and I are gonna pop to the shops. I usually don't go with him, but today I wanna pick my hospital bag, snacks and drinks. Been meaning to do it for weeks. I haven't been to the shop with him. I wanna pick my snacks and drinks so that I'm pretty much ready to go on the hospital bag front. Um, you don't want to be caught out without snacks, guys. I mean, I'm sure I could get some in early labor, but I thought that might be a nice activity to do today anyway. So I'm awake from my nap, um, and it was very nice, very pleasant indeed. And I'm gonna have a little snack. My, as you know, my lovely friends threw me a virtual baby shower, and they sent me these cakes from Hunter's Cake Cafe. 
um, and there were lots there were lots in here to choose from but all I've got left is a millionaire shortbread and a cinnamon swirl blondie and I think I'm gonna have half of the millionaire shortbread half because I know that Zach will want the other half and he'll be angry if I eat it without him. Right we've hit the snack aisle people time to find healthy and unhealthy snacks. Hi guys so we just popped in to well get ingredients for this week's dinners and get to hospital bag snacks and drinks. I'm feeling for Zach at the moment. <laughs> he put some beers in the in the basket for himself and we got ID'd at checkout and I did not bring my ID today. Even nine months pregnant I still get ID'd. I know it's her job. I know it's her job. Anyway, bought lots of snacks. Mm, couldn't find loads of like healthy-ish ones that I love the look of. I might in early labour send Zach out on a fruit mission like a pre- chopped fruit mission in general i'm really fancying <laughs> i say this after i just ate that millionaire shortbread but i'm really fancying fruit fresh tastes yes might do that we'll see how we go we'll see how we go hi friends it is late in the evening obviously just been watching maths the series is almost over gotta say it wasn't the most exciting episode ever. Don't know what we'll do when it ends though. <laughs> it is good weekly, weekly watching. Um, thought I'd take you through my snacks, my little hospital snacks. Um, might have gone overboard, definitely did, but I just don't know what I'm gonna want. Might take things out like on the day, but we've got a range of options here. But like I said in the car, I think I'm gonna maybe get some brush things in as well. Our NCT teacher <laughs> tells us to freeze sandwiches to take with us. Did I tell you that already? Possibly. Um, which just <laughs> doesn't sound like a good idea because of freezing bread with fillings just doesn't sound great. But anyway, um, do think we might take some sort of fresh option depending on what we have and what we have time to get. Or I might be in early labour and think I'm not going to eat anything for the next 24 hours, so we don't need anything. But anyway, I got some Lucasade as you can see here, but I'm not a big Lucasade drinker, so too sweet. it's a bit too sweet for me. Um, but Zach thinks he knows of some electrolyte drink which I might enjoy. I do think staying hydrated will be something I will want to do, and if I'm sick of uh, tasteless water. Drink seems important. So we're gonna try out, Zach's gonna order some, we have to, we have to order them online. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try that out at some stage. <laughs> I'm gonna also try this Raspberry Lucas in, we'll do a little taste test in a minute. But first let's do snacks. These are Cheerios, these are right now. Not right now, but... Good morning. For the morning, that is what I like to have. I got some gum because I thought freshen up the mouth if we don't have time to, you know, brush teeth, whatever. Okay, we've got savoury snacks because I am, I often get sick of sugary ones, especially if I've been snacking on sugary stuff, then I'm going to want savoury snacks. So we've got these lentil waves. I might give like these a try because I haven't ever tried these. But I thought these looked nice and sour cream and chive, kind of smelly, but I do love a bit of sour cream tried. And then I got some Snacker Jacks in zingy salt and vinegar. Um, again, don't think I'll take the entire multi pack, but you know. Jaffa Cakes, I'm a big Jaffa Cakes fan. Don't fancy any right now, gotta say, but in general, Jaffa Cakes are one of my fave treats. I got some dried mango, because I thought this might be nice, yeah. I kind of wanted to get some dried ginger as well. I love dried ginger, but I forgot. Pretzels. I'm a big pretzels fan as well. Um, these are just original sea salted pretzels. I've got these, which I know I liked. I looked at all the millions and millions of bars that they had in there, and I know that these are nice. Don't love a lot of like cereal bars. But I like these ones. These are just the Kellogg's milk chocolate with whole grain oats. Yes, I went overboard. Yeah, I did. Okay, we've got sweets. We've got squashies, which is a real revelation to me. Zach bought these 
when did you first buy these? Last year sometime. And they are like drumsticks, but in sweet form, chewable, sweet form, very delicious. They also do a rhubarb and custard, which is also nice, but I think I prefer the drumstick flavour, even though I am a big rhubarb and custard fan, to be honest. Tang fast sticks, a classic. Got these Squares Marshmallow Bars, which I used to absolutely adore and eat all the time. I do still really like them. They're super sugary as well, so good for energy, maybe. I saw these, don't know if they're gonna go in the hospital bag, but I suddenly just had a nostalgic moment about Penguin Bars, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Mini eggs. Me and my uni friends call each other eggs. Um, and so this little baby is deemed a mini egg, so. <laughs> Mini eggs for the mini egg. And I also got these um, Gray's Veggie Protein Power um, sort of mixed nuts and beans and stuff, which I feel like I would enjoy as a more healthy option. And that is everything. So that does strike me as a lot. Again, like I said, <laughs> on the day I might be like, definitely won't want these, definitely won't want these, and I'll take them out again. But it's good to be prepared to have the cupboard stocked with options. Is this going to be, is, this isn't going to be as nice, not cold, is it? Okay, we're going to do a taste test. You say it's bought raspberry. I know I don't like the orange very much, so we're going to give the raspberry a go. If not, Zach will drink them. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why well, is it so sweet? Ooh! Can taste? I remember splashing loads of these when I was a kid playing football all the time. Do you think? I didn't think. Do you think I can like it. water it down? I do. I do prefer that to the orange, definitely. Don't mind me being a kid. Stop joking. I don't mind it, but it is so sweet. I mean, that's the point, right? To give you a boost of energy. I do think I might put it in my water bottle with some a little bit of water. I don't know. That'd be very nice. I don't know. Hi, lovely ones. Let me tilt you up now, so you don't have to look at my bump. It's probably not the most flattering of poses, but everything seems to be bump level at the minute. <laughs> Just getting ready for bed now, taking my jewellery off. I'm going to go and do my face. I think this time of day, I get just a bit ratty. <laughs> and a bit irritated with life. I think you just, the day's discomforts begin to pile on a little bit. Trying to find a comfortable spot on the sofa or maybe you're full of food. It all gets a bit uncomfortable and overwhelming at this time of day. So I tend to have a little wobble in the evenings at the moment. And also I just can't be bothered to get ready for bed, which is typical for me, pregnancy or no pregnancy. I hate getting ready for bed. <laughs> I wish I was one of those people that really enjoyed doing their skincare routine, but alas, I am not. I always just want to be in bed. <sighs> so ready for bed. <laughs> My favorite time of day. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, I have actually made a rule for Zach that he's not allowed to tell any jokes after about eight, nine p.m because I'm no longer able to enjoy jokes or joking around or having a laugh. <laughs> Ooh, also, whilst we're here, let's briefly chat. Happy ears, earplugs. Here are mine in their little tiny little box, <laughs> which um, I'm a little worried I'm going to lose. But we're doing okay so far. If you don't know, I mentioned in a vlog, maybe the last vlog, not sure, that I wanted some reusable earplugs that I could clean um, so I could reuse them for a long time and that when I stopped using them would eventually be recyclable as well. So I bought some from Happy Ears and I'm pleased to say that I enjoy them. I think they work perfectly well. They're comfortable to wear and good for sleeping in every night. So that is a big thumbs up from me. Slowly trying to swap out um, any disposable things that I use with reusable things where possible. You don't always think of everything and do everything at once, but when I have a minute and I think of something. A little update on my reading. I'm currently reading, so I gave up on the cloud roads. It just wasn't for me, was not feeling inspired by it at all, um, which is sad. I so wanted to love it, especially because I know N.K. Jemisin wrote a really good review of it. It was very slow. I wasn't really caring for the world very much, or the main character, and it didn't feel like it was bringing me any new exciting ideas, 
which is what I like best about fantasy. I wanted to be doing something, something sort of unique. And I didn't really feel like I was getting that from the Cloud Road. So I gave up with that. I did finish Pew, which I think is one of those like modern classic books. Yes, really liked it. Very strange. I think it would make a fantastic study. If I was a teacher, I would set it. <laughs> really enjoyed Pew. So excited to talk about that one in my February books. Um, haven't finished Titus Grown. <laughs> just requires so much concentration, which I just don't have. And I really want to be able to appreciate it for what it is. I'm currently reading The Only Good Indians, I think it's called, which I'm not loving so far. It's a horror. I'm not feeling very horrified. I don't know. There's just, I'm not just, just not gripped by the plot at the moment, which I'm sad about. I really wanted to really like it. I'm going to push on for another 50 pages or so and see how we get on, but I'm also trying to be good about putting books down. I'm always trying to be good about putting books down if I'm not enjoying them. Sometimes I succeed, sometimes I push through and regret it. But <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to give it another 50 pages or so and see how we get on for it to get into the real meat of the story, hopefully. I'm listening to Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss, I think. I'm enjoying listening to it, but I am listening to it extremely slowly in bits and pieces. But I feel like it's something that I will enjoy. So a mixed bag on the reading update. <laughs> but yes, I think I'm going to do some reading now. Just do some relaxing. Thank you so much for watching today. All the links to all the far-fetched bits will be down below and all the T's and C's and everything you need expiry date for the code so make sure you use that in good time and yes i will see you all again very soon bye